Good morning, everyone. Look what we are going to review today. Not only review, we are going to compare because we have two of them. So let me get to the other side of the table. I did for the camera this kind of setup because these canvases are huge, not only by the size, but also I have to compare them so we can open and see the difference. Now, uh, this video will be this that I want to review and this was a request from my view viewers. When I purchased this canvas a year ago, everybody loved it so much, but this was a 14 count and I know that lots of you purchased this canvas and lots of you like it very, very much, but they say uh, the 14 count is a little bit too small for you to work on because the uh, eye is not good anymore. With the age, we're getting a little bit more, you know, we need a little bit bigger squares to see, uh, especially if you don't use uh, glasses yet, vision glasses, right? So I got this from Biggest Crafts. So thank you so much, Biggest Crafts, to provide this canvas. Also, they do have in 14 count, but this uh, this particular canvas from different store. But Biggest Crafts have both 11 count and 14 count, and I hope I'm right about that. So we will see. We will compare. What's interesting about when I did one time comparison. If you remember uh, season, it was the winter season, the one that I started actually. One was by Joy Sunday and one was by Romantic Story, but it was the same picture. And there, there was a difference a little bit. Uh, one of the canvases have one less colors. Uh, and of course the canvases look different because of different brand. In here we have both of them by Joy Sunday. Uh, which this one doesn't say Joy Sunday, it says just a cross stitch. So kind of they did not put in here Joy Sunday. This one have a Joy Sunday. So maybe they that's how they print it right now. But the symbol is the same and we all know that this is Joy Sunday, right? So let's open up and see what we're going to have in here. And hopefully they are all the same. I opened this canvas last summer this canvas on 14 count and if you remember me camping i i <laughs> i already opened these threads i play with them i look at them and let me open both of them right now just to show you the palette of colors in here is absolutely stunning absolutely stunning and just to show you that I cannot wait to start on it since last summer. Look at this. I already organized my threads on those hangers. And the colors in here is absolutely stunning. Look at this. So many beautiful colors. Lots of colors. Uh, and then actually one more, some extra that I have to put in here. But we're going to put in here and what we need for now, uh, I would love to not to mix them. We will see those colors later also comparison to see. Of course, in here it's going to be so much more threads because it's 11 count, bigger canvas. So a bigger, even when I hold and like two of them together, you can feel how much heavier this is. I just want to see, it, uh, compare them if they have same amount of colors or not. So this is 11 and this is 14. First thing first, I will see that this is all of them full stitch only. 114 colors, that's the beauty about this canvas. You have so much colors. Maybe some color, not too much. I see some trends in here, like just a one strand only, but still colors right so 114 and if I would put together just like this to compare the colors I just want to make sure uh, they are all the same the only difference is the size okay so far good now I'm gonna check second row okay 
yeah pretty much i think it's absolutely same okay fourth i mean third row interesting symbols in here and last one yes you know what they are absolutely the same and they have the same 14 i mean 114 colors so definitely same thing it's just a different sizes and the picture picture are so gorgeous and i was watching a uh, cross stitcher she already created this side of the canvas colors are so beautiful when she done and i already told you about that that i saw her stitching i cannot remember her channel name uh, it's kind of like appeared that channel on me again accidentally i found but i kind of couldn't remember her name so let's see let's see the size the difference if we put them together we will push these colors so obviously the colors we will have the same colors it's just a much more much more color so even see like in here those extras in here same extras here is like a, a darker one so maybe they just put on a palette in here more i don't know but colors in here is absolutely stunning Look at this gorgeousness. Isn't that pretty? Oh, It's so satisfying and they can look so nice, shiny, silky. Gorgeous. See, like I'm saying in here, even for 11 counts, we have one strand and one color, one strand and another color. So they have some singles in here. And another side more like a yellowish okay so by see like i organize my threads i put them on a hanger which is very comfortable if you um, put some of them next to you and you just pick up the thread whatever you want the only reason why i did not start it on this one yet because i have a big plan for this canvas and I will tell you what kind of plan. Okay, so we do have two good needles in here as well. Now, let's see the size of this monster, okay? okay. So, yes, uh, thank you for this request. For those who wanted to see the difference in the canvases, if they are the same or not. I appreciate your request and I'm gladly uh, to do this for you. Now the print, oh my goodness, look at the size of it. You know the good thing is this canvas are actually soft. And look at the size, so it actually doesn't even fit on a table. I thought in this position of my camera we will see the whole thing, but it's not. So this little canvas much more stiff than this one. So I think if you are planning to put your canvas into the hoop or frame, it's going to be much easier to put 11 count than 14. This one is really, really stiff canvas. I might have to kind of like rub it to make it softer, just so like you, you can do like this to make your canvas more soft. But this one already nice and soft. Uh, for the 14 count, and because it's a more tough canvas, it's sometimes it's easy to work in your hands. Wow, that's a big difference on the size, I'm telling you that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. If I can put to the edge. Well, I will put to the edge of the print to make a kind of even print, right? So, not to the edge of the canvas, but to the edge of the print. Okay, and here is what we have. Look at that, my threads on the way in here. I might have to put them aside a little bit somewhere more. Okay, so in here, look at this, the difference on the size in here. It's like another, I don't know. 10 inches or so 
maybe even more and then we have good maybe like four inches up which is like one two three four five five squares okay i can tell you this five five squares from 11 count taller and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve squares this way bigger so that's a good comparison wow it's so so much bigger see I like to work on 11 count a lot because it's much easier for my eyes as well but to shrink the size of the picture I'm picking usually 14 count because I understand how humongous the canvas will be but also it's so much easy for me to work with you on camera to record video whips and chats because I can see better sometimes I don't need to use any like uh, magnifier and it's easy to record and if we're looking here by the symbols of course for you probably a little bit too far I want to see the symbols if they are match yeah they are match it's just because this canvas is bigger so it's gonna go off um, but when I'm looking like this they are all match and in a booklet of course they all match so this is absolutely amazing so here you go now if you wish to order please do so and all of those who uh, ladies already order we can do same thing um, an interesting thing it's the uh, same company that we do uh, our every Wednesday cross stitch they looks like it's always have this amazing uh, product up there that I want to start on it so what do you think what do you think this is so pretty um print I would say print on 11 count is it looks a little bit more brighter to you or this just because it's a smaller I would say a little bit colors different here's like more um a reddish and here is more like a pinkish but it's a still same colors it's just because the canvas is smaller so it looks a little bit more brighter and then here maybe because it's you know because of the paint 11 counts so paint more kind of stretch and make this canvas not so stiff I don't know but you definitely you can see that it's like a more flexible it's gonna be very nice to put in a frame good if you have this big um, extra size frame so you can roll it even like you know this way on a frame and so lots of people if you have a big canvas like this lots of people roll and work this way kind of they stitch sideways so that way you can roll this side later or like a app to cover up your stitches so that it doesn't get dirty and fluffy and then unroll it from here I see lots and lots of girls doing this way uh, and uh, some of them have such a huge uh, frame uh, stand that it's actually fit to roll it on a stand I don't have a big stand like this so if I would work on it I would work on my table just like hanging like this you know have like push over the table so I can still stitch in my hands or I can put uh, by the biggest frame by the way if you don't have any frame like a Q-snip uh, I did before tutorial what you can do if you don't have any frame or hoop you can use your regular picture frame pull out glass and you have that big square and you just uh, keep it those clips to pinch a fabric uh, together on that frame and you will have a homemade frame that's a very good idea for like for the first time if you don't have absolutely nothing um, to begin with picture frame it's excellent frame to use it as a q snips q snip for uh, to begin with till you buy something better okay now my idea was and i will tell you my secret idea what I want to do and now I really have to think I will go to my supplies and I will see what would be better because 
I still have to stitch in a full stitch first before I do anything. So here you go, you have a two canvases that you can choose which one you want and Biggest Craft have both of them for a very good price actually. You know what? For the size of the canvas that is a very good price. So my plan is to stitch in a full cross stitch add some seed beads, add some sequins, add some gems, some metallic threads to make this canvas one of the kind. And when we have in here on a picture, let me grab a picture. I will spill the beans. Okay, you see we have in here. Okay, let, you know what, let me get to the camera and I will grab a pen, handy pen I have in here. All right, so we have this picture in here to get close to you. There's a beautiful bushes of flowers in here, okay? Uh, now, what I was thinking, maybe even back to stitch in a half stitch to make this create more sheer and more cloudy light with the half stitch. Uh, some of those bleaks on the water, I have a beautiful um, transparent um, Preciosa seed beads in size 11, which will fit good on 14 count. Uh, if I will use 11 count, I have Preciosa beads in the same color, but size 8, that might will fit, I did not try yet. Now for those bushes, I have a sequence shape of the flowers and one time you saw me doing a shop and haul of sequence that I purchased for some from Michaels. I have lots of sequence shape of the flowers from the dollar store and I was thinking to add sequence with the beads and some kind of gems to those bushes of the flowers to make them special. Now I have lots of beads in green color that I can add to the bushes or the grass to make a little bit sparkle up. You know what I mean? I want this to be very, very special. For example, there's a light, light inside of that house to create maybe with the gold thread to make it as it's light and sparkle. So I want this to be not just a cross stitch. I want this to be kaboom you know you you open and everybody jaw drop wow beautiful that is my plan now my plan is grand <laughs> huge but what canvas should i use for it so i really have to pick my i need to pick my supplies sequence and beads and see what would fit better Sorry, I have to pause my video because my puppy decided to walk away. So yes, uh, now he totally messed up with me. Okay, so I have to now see what canvas I should do. I think to do big, so maybe I will be stitching for the 11 count just to make this gorgeous, huge and stunning with whole bunch of gems, beads, seeds, beads, gold, silver threads, whatever I have in my stash, I will use it. Now, comment below please, what do you think about my idea? Uh, and I wanted to start on this side, on uh, this, this beautiful bush flowers in here, but I thought, okay, if I start right now just to show you a little pick what I planning to do, but then it's going to be on my way, those beads and sequins, I really have to add them later, because if I do them in the beginning with, how am I going to roll it? If I will do on a frame, it would be not possible to roll and not to damage those sequins, because they are 3D and they are sticking out. Um, so that's what kind of was holding me and I got to the conclusion that I really need to stitch first absolutely everything. Well, seed beads, maybe I can put seed beads right away. I will see the colors of the threads that go in the water or this pathway. I have some brown seeds that's laying in my stash forever. 
uh, maybe I will put some on a sky the one that's oh you know what does that uh, partial sky in here actually yeah I did not mention to you this uh, partial sky I don't think we need to stitch that let me double check no I don't think we have a empty square let me just double check in here if we have a square with no color no we don't so this is definitely sky partial so maybe that's for the partial pieces i can add my uh transparent seed beads and hopefully i have enough <laughs> yeah because 11 count uh, 11 o seed beads will be too small for 11 count ada it's only good for a 14 count for the 11 count it could be size 8 fit so i have to try it um yeah comment below what do you think i should do because i really really do and now some of you i think already started on this canvas let me know how many of you own this beautiful uh envelope because i know there's lots of you order after my first review and some of you wanted to kind of said that it was 14 count and you wanted an 11 there you go you can order right now and maybe we can start another huge progress do together and work work together sometime because this this canvas is haunting me for a long time well since last last summer obviously because i was so ready to start i got my threads ready i was so ready i hang them in my trailer because i thought i will start right away and that i was just couldn't decide what to do and now when i have two canvases in different sizes i can decide now by looking on two of them and compare my supplies and see on which size those particular flowers that i want to add will be good plus i have some buttons kind of um i have some gems that you can like a sew in uh, sew in gems that could be uh, represent like a flowers as well to put some or even on a tree kind of like a blossom here and there i do really bling i want to bling up this canvas i do i really want to do I want this to make it very very special because it's so big it's so beautiful the colors in here is absolutely stunning i cannot tell you enough and i cannot stop rumbling because i saw this portion of this tree and flowers look so beautiful i hope i can find that video of the girl she was showing lately her uh, all her whips and she's speaking russian girl uh, so of course you're not gonna understand nothing unless she has like a subtitles but you don't need to really understand her language you can just look the picture itself right maybe if i will find it i will try to find her i kind of remember her voice i might subscribe to her i can't remember but i will point the timeline on a video where it goes straight to this canvas so you can see how gorgeous those colors looks on the canvas so she did pretty much like almost to half mm, maybe not exactly half but let's say third of the canvas absolutely fantastic and those threads you can look you can touch you can pat them all day long you never get tired because the colors is amazing and i'm so glad that they are absolutely same colors nothing difference between them they are match they are match and we have in here 21 page if you want to challenge yourself and do by counted cross stitch that would be another challenge right okay i think i said everything that i wanted in stitches in stitches difference in here or we have in stitches difference or not uh 14 count 521 by 243 and it's exactly the same 11 count same size by the stitches it's just a different size because of the squares much bigger than 14 count that's all the difference that's it everything else is absolutely the same thing so you know you can be feel assured that you will get 
exactly same nothing different and there is a joy sunday and i love 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 this canvas i love this canvas now i will think about this all day long i'm really debating on which canvas i should start 11 or 14. for 14 count i have more seed beads that i can use for 11 count not too much big seeds i have but i can make a little bit different Wow, I really don't know what to do. Comment below which which canvas I should work on, 14 or 11. And let me know if you own this canvas, what kind of um, count you have. Did you start it or you just thinking to start? What's your progress? You can post your progress in my Facebook group, Lovecraft Forever. I would love to see if you have already stitched on this one. And yes, don't forget that from Biggest Craft we have every Wednesday European town to stitch. I stitched some last night and have absolutely wonderful time by stitching. Thank you so much for staying with me everybody. I hope you like this comparison. I hope I answer your questions. And thank you for your... Um, question or um, suggestion for me to review this canvas and of course thank you biggest craft for providing me this canvas for review because this is uh i love comparison videos because sometimes it could be some oops moments and sometimes you can like wow moment this is the wow factor for sure no oopsies everything is good and canvas printed wonderful you can see every every symbol and there is no confetti in here all color it would be very easy to stitch for beginners because there's no confetti in here even we have like a bushes and lots of flowers but they are all connected nicely with each other doesn't have like uh, one here one there they all kind of you can grab one thread and stitch through the whole thing would be very very easy am i talk too much yes i am <laughs> Have a good day everyone and I will see you tomorrow in my next video.